Hello and welcome to the channel. And this is the third video in a multi-part series I'm doing on SIP. Now, the last time we took a look at SDP and we looked at how the media streams are referenced in a SIP log. So today we're gonna dive a bit deeper and look at how in a SIP conversation, this, this media is carried over RTP. Okay, so let's assume we have two endpoints in a SIP call and let's assume that at, at least for now, this is audio only. So in this scenario, I need a minimum of four media ports, uh, UDP ports, a, a minimum of four ports that need to be opened up between these two endpoints to support audio. I need two in one direction, say from Peter to David, I need audio one and audio two, and then in the other direction from David back to Peter, I need an additional two, audio one and audio two. And these again are UDP, so they're unidirectional. Now, the reason you need two in each direction is because you need one port, uh, audio one, to carry RTP, which is your media, your actual audio packets, okay? But we need another port, audio two, because RTP requires RTCP, which is your control. Now, RTCP determines when to start and stop sending audio signals. For example, if you're speaking and there's a long pause, RTCP will notice the pause and say, stop sending packets, uh, don't waste that bandwidth. And then when you start speaking again, RTCP will signal that it's okay to start sending the packets again. RTCP is also monitoring the signal to give feedback reports for statistics. Okay, so when you look at a call, all those call statistics, uh, bandwidth being consumed, uh, packets lost, delay, jitter, all of that's coming from RTCP. So it's an important part of the mechanism. So again, if you wanna be able to send audio in just one direction, you need uh, to open a minimum of two ports, one for RTP and one for RTCP. We'll need a total of four ports if we're talking about audio in both directions. Okay, so what about a video call? For video, we have to open an additional two ports in each direction. Video one and video two going from Peter to David and video one and video two in the other direction from David to Peter. And again, video one is RTP, so uh, it's carrying the video media stream and video two is for RTCP. Now recall in the previous video when we looked at the media attribute in the SDP portion of our SIP log, we saw M equals audio and then 19088. And we said 19088 was the port number that RTP was using to carry the media, in this case, to carry the audio. Okay, now the port that's used is always chosen by the endpoint that's sending the media. Now this is uh, somewhat arbitrary, uh, but there are a few parameters that it has to go by. One, the endpoint's gonna choose a port between 1024 and 52564, somewhere in that range. Two, we know that RTP will always be on an even numbered port, and RTCP is always going to be the next port number up. In other words, it's always going to be odd. Okay, so in this case, RTP is on 19088, and notice that's an even number. So we know that RTCP uh, for the stream is being carried on 19089. Now something else you have to consider is, do these endpoints have content sharing? Uh, if you support content sharing, that's an additional two ports in each direction. Uh, there's also far end camera control, that's two more ports. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's scroll down to uh, M equals application 28297. So a couple of things to notice here. Uh, first, this line doesn't say RTP like the others. It's actually UDP BFCP. Now content sharing over SIP uses BFCP, binary floor control protocol. Now that coupled with the fact that this is an odd numbered port should tell us that this isn't a media stream that's being sent over RTP. Okay, so when you're in an audio or video call, you're sharing audio and video right off the bat, right? But that's not true for content sharing. Content is something that you add into the call later. So when you hit the share screen or share con uh, content button on your device, it needs to open up communication to say, hey, I, I want to start sharing content. And uh, that is a control mechanism, RTCP. So that's what we're seeing here. Okay, so basically every capability that you add to an endpoint, you have to add two additional ports in each direction. And that's why I say a at a minimum if we're talking about a call with just audio and video. Could be more, but it really just depends. Okay, 
So that about does it for this segment. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.